Remember that carbohydrates come in multiple varieties. As we saw with our Benedict's test previously, we were looking specifically for reducing sugars. Remember sugars come in monosaccharide or disaccharide versions. Monosaccharide will be something like glucose, disaccharide will be something like sucrose. But a majority of our carbohydrates come in the form of a polysaccharide. We frequently call that starch. So in this particular test, what we're gonna look for is the presence of starch. We're gonna use a particular solution called Lugose, which turns the color in the presence of starch. So let's look at one of our samples. So I'm gonna take two mils of corn starch, and as before, I'm gonna put the two mils in a test tube. And then we're gonna add our Lugo solution. For this particular solution, we only need two drops in order for us to see if we're gonna get a reaction. Here you can see I immediately got a dark color. This is a dark purple, but it may appear black depending on how much starch is in solution. So this is a positive test. There is starch in this solution. So let's analyze our results. So the first solution that we looked at was cornstarch. And as you can see, we got a very dark color once the Lugols was added. This is a positive control again, and this contains starch. The next solution we're gonna look at is glucose. Well, from our previous test, you should have figured out that glucose is a reducing sugar. Therefore, it should not turn a dark color when we add Lugos. Although you see a color change from the clear glucose solution, remember that we're looking for a dark color change. This simply shows the color of the Lugos as we're adding a colored solution to a clear solution. Okay? This is a negative control. Our next solution is salad oil. Well, as the name implies, we should not expect to see a reaction with salad oil. It is not a starch. We have sucrose. And again, as we previously saw in the Benedict's test, sucrose is a sugar. So this is also a negative control. And then lastly, we have water. Pure water should have no organic molecules in it. So again, this is a negative result. 